weeks after Singaporeans were left fuming from an American lawmaker's grilling of TikTok's CEO over his nationality and links to China's Communist Party, the island nation's top envoy in Washington has suggested the line of questioning went too far and could tarnish perceptions of the U.S. Taken too far, interrogations such as their experienced by Chu Shou Zi, a lifelong Singaporean, can sometimes possibly undermine the image and understanding of how the U.S. is viewed in different parts of the world. Not just in Asia and not necessarily only in Singapore, said Louis Tuck Yu, Singapore's ambassador to the U.S. Louis gave his thoughts in response to a question posed by The Post at a conference of the Washington International Trade Association in the U.S. Capitol on Tuesday. On January 31, Chu appeared alongside the chief executives of tech firms Discord, Meta, Snap and X to testify before the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee over concerns about the harmful effects of social media on children. During the hearing, Senator Tom Cotton, an Arkansas Republican, asked Chu if he was a citizen of any other nation than Singapore, had ever applied for Chinese citizenship and had any ties to China's Communist Party. Clips of the tense exchange went viral on social media, with the hashtag hashtag Singaporean trending internationally on X, formerly known as Twitter. Many netizens of the city-state and beyond were not impressed. Pure ignorance, to the highest degree, one comment read. Just because he looks Chinese does not mean he's from China. Chinese immigrants first came to Singapore in substantial numbers in the 19th century. Today more than 70% of the country's 5.9 million inhabitants are ethnically Chinese. First, American politicians were understood as trying to assure a domestic audience in an election season. He said. And second, deep-seated concerns have persisted about companies, whether in China itself or coming out of China, possessing a significant amount of data, possibly even sensitive data relating to U.S. citizens. TikTok, a video-sharing app owned by Chinese company ByteDance, is wildly popular in the U.S., with more than 150 million monthly active users. After both Democratic and Republican lawmakers voiced apprehensions about users' data on the app being accessed by the Chinese government in Beijing, the company in 2020 decided to move its headquarters to Singapore. Louis called for striking a fine balance between security sensitivities and the overall image and impression that the U.S. will want to continue to project and portray to the rest of the world. Cotton has previously visited Singapore, the envoy added, saying the country held the Harvard-educated U.S. military veteran in high regard.